All right, we're back, and right now I'm gonna be playing power chords. There's two different forms of power chords, and if you're new to this, if you're a complete beginner and you're really new to power chords, I'm gonna show you how to play them. Now, I have a whole uh, another series on movable chords, and I show you really how to get those. Movable chords are tough, you know, they're not easy to do, but power chords are just two, two fingers, so just like G and D, and it sounds like this. Every rock and roll song that you've ever heard has been played with power chords. All right, but uh, basically there's two forms of power chords. This isn't really a power chord lesson, but I'm just showing you uh, really in this lesson how to apply your knowledge now of the different um, notes on the neck to really concrete them in. So I'm going to use power chords for that. Uh, so basically, do a power chord, open your hand, line it up, grab it, you kind of just uh, got your hand there, you put your first finger on G, which is a third fret, which, okay, so first finger on the G note, third fret, and then you put your fifth finger, or your, your third finger, your third finger on the fifth fret, so now you have this note, which is a power chord, and it's called a G power chord, it's a 6-1, it's the sixth sixth string first finger root so that's that's what you hear me say six one or five one or four one it's the sixth string first finger root so wherever this first finger is is the name of this chord this is the g5 chord a power chord g5 So that's it, it's just two notes, one, two. So basically, when you do this, I, t I teach this in another movable chord session. I'll put a link in here if you wanna do that one. It's like a duck though, it's really like a duck. So you got your hand like a duck like this. Wank, wank, wank. That was, I actually like doing that, it was funny. Wank. So you got your duck, duck hand, right? You turn it over like this, put it under the neck, and come up. Now, you've got your hands, your fingers uh, pointing straight up at the ceiling, okay? And your thumb is almost pointing straight up too. It looks like that, okay? That's it right there. Do that. Power chord. This is like a bonus lesson in the middle of a lesson. All right, so once you get your hand up in there, you're going to pinch. You're going to pinch between the first and second finger, uh, the first finger and the thumb. Okay, so you're going to do a little pinch. Okay, so you're going to stick it up there and you're going to pinch down by the fret. That's it. That's all you got. Now, this finger should be pointing straight up. Okay, it should be pointing straight up and your, and your wrist should really look like nothing like this. It should just look like this. It shouldn't be like this or all freaked out. Okay, it should look just like this. Okay, it's flat, up, pinch, third finger down. Power chord, okay? The best chord ever. The be one of the best chords ever made, right there. Power chord. So we're at a G. All right, now let's move up to an A. Whoa, that's an A. And the reason that's an A is because that is the root is an A, okay? All right, so what if I said go back to F sharp, an F sharp power chord, okay? This is a 6-1 and you want an F sharp, so you go E, F, F sharp. That's an F sharp. Okay, now let's go to A again. So we, we, we're going to memorize that. Oh, A is a fifth fret. F sharp. A, go to A. Go to F sharp. Go to A. Go to F sharp. Go to G. So you just made a little little riff, riff lick there. Uh, if you want to go down down now, you can take the same pattern and move it down so that the root is on the fifth string. Okay, so the root is now the fifth. So on the third fret, the fifth A, A sharp, B, C. Okay, so now we're at C. that's a C. If I go up to five, now I'm on a D because I'm on C, C sharp, D. Let's slide up to G. So 
so it's like C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. F sharp, E, to D, to C, to B, oh yeah, B flat. And then how do I go back? I'm going to show you this last one. This is, this is really not a power chord lesson, but it, we're on power chords. We go back to A. So open and two. That's an open power chord. Open power chord. Open two. All right. So uh, basically, uh, an o low E power chord. It's like an E minor chord, but it's O and two. So you have the open E because open is now the root note. Every rock and roll song in the history of rock and roll. Let me change my pedal and I'll show you. All right, so here's rock and roll riff. Every rock and roll riff you've ever heard starts with a low uh, E, open E power chord. So it's E, F, E. Palm mute, and then you have an E, you have an F, G, F, E. F, G, F, E. And then E. How did I do that? How did I do that? So I went up to the 5 1, the 7th fret. So now I'm in an E. So I have a low E octave and a high 7th fret power chord. in every rock song. So you're just playing the the, the seventh fret is an E. Whatever, whatever you want to do, wherever you want to go with it, I'm not sure where you guys are going. But whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. When I was uh, in early rock and roll bands, we did a lot of that. That stuff. And I need more distortion. Uh, and then we would do more like, we would go like this. So whatever you want to do, power chords can become not like they're in a major scale, they can become kind of just, um, they can become kind of weird out of tone scale stuff, like if you listen to rock and roll kind of stuff that, that sometimes they play chords that wouldn't go together like in a normal uh, thing, but they would go together in rock music. <laughs> chromatics down and stuff like that. The, the key of this main lesson before I started jamming was memorizing the notes on the top two strings and concreting them in your mind using power chords, a chord that you move around and you can sort of start to know where that is. This will help you immensely if you want to study movable chords, which movable chords are basically uh, the same same exact thing as a power chord, but they just have major minor forms and use all of them They're like the bar chords or movable chords. What do you want to call them? And I have a whole lesson on movable chords a whole actual session that I did a whole private lesson session Check for that link in this thing. You can do that if you want to but you can play majors Minors, but everywhere you move these you would know the name of the chord and that's how if you understand the top two strings and if you understand how to move the shapes around, you can know every chord, like A minor, A sharp minor, uh, A sharp minor seven. You can just know uh, B flat, B flat minor, F minor. Um, name a chord and you would be able to do it with moving them around. So, all right, when you're ready, go to the next lesson. I've got a little bonus lesson in this section and it is going to be about uh, using chords up an octave so you can play the same chord up an octave and I kind of spoke on it a little bit in a couple of lessons ago but I'm going to do a whole uh, kind of master class on that so check it out. Alright, God bless you.